Back in 1998, former Duke star and newbie broadcaster Jay Billis got a call that would change his career forever. Having done mostly local mid-major level games, Jay was asked by ESPN to be the sideline reporter for the biggest rivalry in all of basketball, his alma mater against UNC, ranked number one and number two respectively at the time. The game was gonna be called by Mr. College Basketball himself, Dick Vitale, and Jay was thrilled for this opportunity. A week before tip-off, the ESPN producers held a meeting to game plan. Vital was out of town for his speaking engagement, and while Jay was not required to attend, he decided to go anyway. He figured he might as well show up to demonstrate how seriously he was taking the job. The producers announced that Vital recommended that the broadcast heavily feature UNC guard Shaman Williams, who Dickie V had been adamant was the game's player to watch. The lead producer asked Jay if he agreed. I think 99 out of 100 people in this situation would just nod and agree. I mean, why contradict the most recognizable face in college basketball on your first day of the job? But Jay did just that. Respectfully, I see things differently, Jay said. I believe UNC forward Antoine Jameson is the player we should focus on. He is the most efficient and effective player in college basketball. As the rookie in the room, on the first question he was asked, Jay decided to offer insight that directly contradicted his Hall of Fame colleague's perspective. He also made a bold claim. Taken a bit by surprise, the producer asked for a deeper clarification. Jay explained that Jamison puts up incredible stats despite actually having the ball in his hands for very little time. I bet you Jamison doesn't have the ball in his hands for a full minute the entire game, Jay said. If true, this would be incredibly rare. A college basketball game is 40 minutes long. What player who is worth watching would only touch the ball for less than a minute? However, the producers were impressed with Jay's confidence and decided to go with it. They even assigned an intern to take a stopwatch and chart how long Jamison actually had the ball in his hands. In the game, UNC decimated Duke 97 to 73. Jamison ended up with a career high 35 points on 14 of 20 shooting and pulling down 11 rebounds. He was indeed the player to watch. And how long was the ball in his hands? 53 seconds. Jamison was the most efficient and effective player in college basketball. But he wasn't the only one who made the most of that game. Jay Billis did too. Jay seized his opportunity and cemented an important lesson he's carried ever since. Never be afraid to show up and never be afraid to speak up.